Now to the latest out of San Antonio, where dozens of migrants were found dead in the back of this semi truck. The death toll now at 53, which makes it the most deadly smuggling inch incident in our country's history. Now, police now have two men in custody and say the suspected driver of the truck was high on meth when he was arrested. The issue of illegal immigration at the center of the tragedy. Governor Greg Abbott blaming the Biden administration for not securing the border. President Biden was warned in advance that reduced border enforcement would lead to dire consequences. I urge the president, stop the loss of lives. You have the ability to stop people from losing their lives if you make it clear that no one can come across illegally. There's a perfectly legal way that people can immigrate to the United States of America. Well, as details continue to pour in, we are now learning the truck, which became a death trap, was likely what's called a cloned truck. Fox 26's Shelby Rose joins us from the local Mexican consulate to explain more. Yeah, big question surrounding this tragedy is where exactly did that semi truck come from? If you look at it, there is a Texas DOT registration on the side of the cab. And we've since learned that those numbers are linked to a small trucking company in the Rio Grande Valley. But a representative for Betancourt Trucking and Harvesting says the driver does not work for them and claims the truck isn't even theirs. And they want to publicly say they had nothing to do with the incident, even sharing a photo with Fox 4 Dallas of their actual truck with the same numbers and claims it's not even in San Antonio. It's been running green, loads of green all week since last Friday. We have, we, we can, I'm pretty sure we can get video of my truck going in and out of the unloading location. And Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas did say in a tweet that ICE is fully investigating to hold those responsible for this tragedy. Reporting at the Mexican consulate, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.